Hello everyone, how are you all? I hope you are fine. So now we are going to see the chapter 7. Okay, so I hope you are preparing for IUO exam. Prepare well. So now we are going to see the chapter 7 adverbs and adjectives. Okay, so what is adverb and adjectives? Already you know that. So just we recall about that. Okay, a word that adds more information about place, time, manner, pause, or degree to a verb and adjective, a phrase, or another verb. Okay, so the word we add more information about place, time, manner. Okay, that is that words are called adverbs. Okay, the adverbs are words that usually modify, that is, they limit or restrict the meaning of verbs. Okay, adverbs are one words that usually modify, that is, they limit or restrict the meaning of verbs. Okay. Adverbs answer the question when, where, how, how much, how long or how often. Okay. Adverb answer the question when, where, how, how much, how long or how often. So, this all the questions answer the word it is adverb. Okay. So, now we are going to see the section A. Two suitable adverb of manner for the given sentences. Okay. So, first question. All the students listen to the instruction. Okay. Listen dash to the instructions. So, listen. How they listen? They listen. We know that adverb means is describe the verbs. Okay. So, listen. Listen is wholly or harshly or newly or attentively. Yes. So, the correct answer is attentively. Okay. Next. He talked so dash that I could not grasp even a single word. He talked so dash. It's clearly talked. How he is um, talking? He talked clearly or fast or gracefully or correctly because how we talk that only would not grasp. Would not grasp. So, we can't grasp the word. What he is speaking means how clearly means surely we can grasp. Gracefully also surely we can good grasp. Correctly also. But what? Yes. He talked so fast that I could not grasp even a single word. Okay. Next third one. Work dash. If you want to achieve something worthwhile. Okay. Work. So, work clearly so, work hardly or work hardest, work hard, work more harder. So, if you want, will come, if you want to achieve something worthwhile. Yes, if you want to achieve something means we have hardly or hardest or more harder or hard. Yes, it is hard, work hard. If you work hard, if you want to achieve something worthwhile, okay. Next, fourth question, okay. Many Indian women... Many Indian women fought das against the British forces. Many Indian women fought das against the British forces. Okay. So what does many Indian women fought? It's a slowly, quickly, bravely, quietly. So they fought for British forces. They quietly, they brown fought. Or quickly or bravely or slowly. Yes. They fight, fought bravely. Okay, they fought bravely against the British forces. Okay. Next. Question number 5. The ma magician. Magician does displayed his trick to the audience. Magician displayed. Does displayed his trick to the audience. Truly, newly, wildly, cleverly. The magician gives a truly. No. Newly. No. Wildly. They are doing cleverly. The musician cleverly displayed his trick to the audience. Okay. Next. Section B. Two suitable adverb of place for the given sentences. Adverbs is for place. Okay. Suitable adverb of place for the given sentences. First, sixth one. My grandfather would not find his spectaculars. My grandfather would not find his spectaculars. So, what is the option? So, my grandfather could not find his spectaculars anywhere, 
everywhere, somewhere, wherever. So the place, where is the place? Everywhere he is missing his spectaculars, somewhere or wherever. Which one will come? Anywhere. Okay. Anywhere. Not everywhere, somewhere, wherever. So correct answer is everywhere. Okay. Seventh one. It was very cold. So we remind. So it was very cold means we have to remain outdoors, indoors, outside, away. So it was co very cold. Surely we are in indoors. We are indoors. Okay. Next question number eight. If you cannot find your notes, you can try dash. Okay. If you cannot find your notes da dash, you can try. So what will come? If you cannot find your notes there or here, everywhere, what will come? Yes, if you are, if you cannot find your notes here, you can try somewhere. Okay. If you cannot find your notes here, you can try some elsewhere. Elsewhere. Next, ninth one. The train does not stop. The train does not stop dash. It is a small station. So, the train does not stop here or somewhere, everywhere or nowhere. So, the one place means surely it is here. Okay, the train does not stop here. It is a small station. Next, Sonu went dash to get her delivery package. Sonu went dash to get her delivery package. So, upwards, upon, downstairs, under. Yes, Sonu went downstairs downstairs to get her delivery package next choose suitable adverb of time for the given sentences so first we see the adverb manner adverb of second adverb of place third one is adverb of time okay 11th one you can go i shall come so you can go i shall come afterwards or before since now before surely will not come. So now also not come. Means he joined with them and go. Since means it's uh, along. So afterwards. So you can go. I shall come afterwards. Okay. These are the question number 11. Next question number 12. The cattle grass dash on the plains. The cattle grass dash on the plains. It is never the cattle grass Never the planes or daily the planes, tomorrow the planes, yearly. Yes, our correct answer is daily. What is our correct answer? Daily. Okay, the cattle, gas, grass daily on the planes. Okay, so now we completed 12 questions. We will see the 13th one. 13th one, my father goes for a walk. Never, seldom and recently daily. So walking means how they will go. They will go never, they will go. So they will go daily. You know this walking, they will go daily. Go to play, but come back. Come back now or come back always later. So always means surely it will not come. So come back soon. Okay, you have to come fast. So fast is meaning is soon. Okay. Next, he is late for class. Dash a single day. Okay, he is Late for class. Art single day. So it is a represent for he is late for class. One even or every or what will come? So every single day. Okay. He is late for class every single day. Next. Section D. Choose the appropriate adjectives. Choose the appropriate adjectives for the underlying phases in the given sentences. So, now we are going to see that what is adjective? You know the adverb. So, adjective, a word that tells you more about a noun. Okay, adverb is a, tells about the verb. Adjective is, tells about the noun. Okay, they can also describe the quality and quantity of nouns. They can also describe the quality and quantity of nouns. Okay, these are the adjectives. Now we will see the question number 16. 16. Thou children usually love tomato chars. I find it quite opposite to my liking. 
So, thou children usually love tomato chas. I find it quite opposite to my liking. What is the meaning for opposite to my liking? That means dislike. Opposite to my liking means dislike. So, which adjective is correct for that? Nasty. Nasty means is uh, avoid. That is a uh, very, 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 very bad like that. Aggressively we sell that. So, that we are not. Generous. So, generous also. So, we have to like meaning. It is come for like meaning. Rude is impolite. Impolitely we tell. No. But they said quiet. Quiet opposite to my liking means that's quietly. Dislike we will sell means that word adjective is repulsive. Okay. Repulsive only is quiet to my liking. This also uh, correct. Nasty, rude also is dislike. But this is, is we are saying the way. Okay. We are saying the way is harshly, rudely. No. We have to say I find it quite opposite to my liking means that we have to say quietly said repulsive. Okay. 17. Rahul is an expert judge in matters of taste. He knows all about coffee. So Rahul is an expert judge in matters of taste. So he expert. That means what word we have to find? Expert judge in matters of taste. In the taste, finding taste, who is expert? That is Rahul. Okay, he knows all about coffee. So that is selective or grumpy, dark will or pronounced Okay, which will come. Selective means that is characterized by selection. We have to select. So this or that like that. Okay. Next, dad devil. Dad devil is a person who likes to do dangerous things. A person who likes to do dangerous things. Next, grumpy is in a bad mood. Grumpy means in a bad mood. Okay. Canonsier. Canonsier is that is expert. This is the correct meaning for expert judge in matters of taste. Okay. Correct meaning is canonsier. Okay. Next. 18. Everyone loves his kind and gentle manners and was pleased to invite him. Okay. So everyone loves his kind and gentle. So what is the adjective for kind and gentle manners? And was pleased to be made. Kind and gentle uh, meaning is what? Surely that is not severe, not rude, not violent. Surely kind and gentle means. So that meaning is what will come. So volatile. Volatile means threatening. Threatening to break out. Okay. Nighty also. Surely it is. Um, go, uh, we have to. Hoarsely we have to say that. Okay. Rude also. Surely we have to say that. Rude. Okay. Rude means we know that it is impolite. Okay. So the correct meaning is amicable. Okay. Correct adjective is amicable. Kind, kind and gentle is amicable. Okay. Question number 19. I don't believe Vedanas can be a good leader. He is always too eager to please his seniors. Okay. I don't believe Vedanas can be a good leader. He is always too eager to please his seniors. So, we have to find the adjective for too eager to please. Too eager to please. That means we have to attend you. We have to be attentive. Too eager to please means uh, we have to be attentive and we have to listen that. Okay. So, what is the will come? Manipulate. So, manipulate. What will come? Manipulate. So, forcing somebody to do what you want. Okay. Forcing somebody so, manipulate is, meaning for manipulative what is? Yes, forcing somebody to do what you want. Lazy, lazy means you know that we are lazy about the working. Okay, next lively, lively, we directly, lively we do it. But here they are asking too eager to please. So, obsequious, obsequious means it's attentive. Obsequious means what it is? Meaning for attentive. Okay. So, wherever I am telling the meaning of all the words, you have to keep it in your mind. It is useful for synonymous or opposite, all the ones. So, you should learn the word with meanings. Okay. Obsequious is a uh, meaning for attentive. So, the correct option is to eager to please option. Uh, adjective is obsequious. Okay. Question number 20. Dolly has an air about herself 
that she is much more important than other people so jolie has an air about herself that she is much more important than other people so what is the adjective for much more important than other people yes we have to give importance to one person that is much more important to other people okay so she is uh, good herself she is much more give the importance so pompous what is the meaning for pompous pompous is having self importance having self importance okay affectionate we have to affection showing affection to others jestful jestful is an enjoying exciting quality enjoying i am always enjoying exciting quality witty is ready to see so i want to see the others so the here what is the word much more important than other people that means i am not giving importance to other people i have to importance to me that is self importance so pompous meaning for self importance so that is the correct answer question number 21 choose the adjective for the underlined phrases which describe the personality okay 21 when amitabh started his career he was a youth having long then thin arms and legs and fire heart rather awarded manners vaka manners so that means Um, when Amitabh started his career, he was a youth having long and thin arms and legs, okay, and had rather awkward manners, okay. So everybody, uh, they have to appreciate that manner only is who is the Amitabh is there. So that we have to say in single word adjective, okay. That is plump. Plump is what to measure depth of water. plump means to measure the depth of so we have to say depth of others that is plump flabby flabby is having too much soft fat so too much soft and fat instead of muscle top soft and but amita how giving having long and thin arms okay next stout we know that stout means that is rather fat okay gangling youth so gangling youth only a young person who is tall thin okay who is tall so amitabh is when amitabh started his career he was a gangling youth okay that means he is uh, tall thin and clumsy in their movements okay next 22 he has quite a fat and solid body he has a quite a fat and solid body so fat and solid body means what so he are not fat fat but he is thin okay fat uh, fat but uh, it's not more fat okay just here he keep the body is very correct manner okay that is fat and solid so what is the correct meaning stout stout means you know that that is rather fat skinny skinny means too thin too thin very thin Okay, here they said fat and solid, fat, but it should be solid. Next, bony. Bony is so thin that you can see the shape of bones. You can see the shape of bones like the thin. Lean, lean also too thin. So, what is the correct answer? Stout. Okay, fat and solid means that is correct. Or adjective is stout. So he has a quite stout body. next poets have written so much about the unkempt hair of their beloved practically they give rather an untidy appearance so poets have written so much about the unkempt so what is the meaning for unkempt okay so tree tree which is the dirty and untidy dirty and untidy only is called unkempt okay dirty and untidy only unkempt so which word will come neat neat surely is opposite of unkempt tidy also it is opposite of unkempt spas spas also tree which has a distinctive that is mention the tree okay scurfy scurfy is dirty and un- untidy scurfy means that is dirty and untidy okay 24 when Shubhas was Shubha was young. She looked very pretty, but now with the growing age, 
her face shows signs of tiredness and age okay when shobha was young she looked very pretty but now with the growing age her face shows signs of tiredness and age so signs of tiredness and age we have to say in single adjective what it is so first fresh fresh mean we know that we can see with the fresh clear okay next rubbers rubbers means that, that is strong and healthy strong and healthy okay haggard haggard means that is looking tired haggard is looking tired vigorous strong health so robust and vigorous is strong health so haggard only is looking tired so here we want the word shows signs of tiredness and age that is haggard okay next question number 25 so ajay ajay is quiet ajay is quiet and lacking in confidence ajay is quiet and lacking in confidence and has such low opinion of himself that he is not even aware of his own potential so ajay is quiet lacking in confidence confidence he is lacking and has such a low low opinion of himself so less confidence and low opinion so what word that he is not even aware of his potential so not even he is not even aware of his potential so that means what is the meaning for this so definite means we know that different forward means we have to go forward and we have to go everything is first and forward confident means we have to be confident assure means so what is assure assure also believing believing that you can some to something means we have to believe so what only is different diffident diffident only is uh, j is quiet different that he is not even he is diffident he is quiet and diffident so only that he is not even aware of, aware of his potential okay these are the adjectives now we are going to see both adverbs and adjectives some hard question okay choose the correct adverb complete the each sentence 26 tanu is dash the right person for this job tanu is dash that very certainly ever so so tanu is very the right person surely will not come very is mentioned the long large ever never no so also so what is the correct adverb certainly tanu is certainly the right person for this job okay next question number 27 i have finished dash i have dash finish my homework almost sometimes seldom very so what is you know that almost okay what is almost sometimes sometimes only i finish my homework seldom and very so when which one will come i have almost finished my homework okay so i kept my phone dash i cannot find it now so where you kept to the phone now where anywhere everywhere or somewhere what will come yes now where no anywhere the correct meaning is somewhere i kept my phone somewhere i cannot find it now choose the correct adjectives to complete each sentence okay rashi can be dash at times i couldn't trust her so rashi can be what devious at times rashi can be devious at times i couldn't trust her okay you look so dash you should not you should go get some rest so you look so sad so that is what we has exhaust you look so exhausted you look so exhausted you should go get some rest okay so so we complete that chapter 7 i hope you understood this students prepare well for the quiz and write it thank you have a nice day